Hey everybody, welcome back to another Payday 2 Solo Stealth. Today we got First World Bank. Uh, one of my personal favorite heists. I'm gonna say it here so that I don't have to worry about it lo being lost if, uh, if I fail. But I really enjoy First World Bank because I like bank heists. Um, and it's, it's bigger than the branch bakes, but more personal than Big Bank. There we go. Said that in the previous two attempts during the heist. But uh, only the only the successful attempt gets uploaded, um, so that the video is not a thousand hours long. All right. Um, it's also pretty good RNG if he spawns in his office back here. He did not. Okay. Yeah, that's a good spot. Okay, so we got the vault on the other side. That's probably for the best. Um, Excuse me, sir. So there's one power box right here by the balcony. Not on it, but really. Not on the balcony, but next to it. Um, and then here's the security room. Which I guess means the second one, yep, is right there. And he's in here as well, okay. Okay. Whoa, where are you going? Quicker than trying to cable time all. <clears throat> Speed means a lot. Alright, rewired that. Okay, well this is opening, I'm gonna try and get to. Okay, circuit box two has been dealt with and circuit box three is in the employees only room. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, it's weird, weird recording these videos because I'm recording this August 6th and it doesn't, uh oh, what's he seeing? And it goes up, um, October 1st, hence why I'm wearing my Halloween fit. Um, but, but yeah. Same thing will be done for the Christmas, or the December episodes, I guess. I'll be wearing my, uh, my festive attire, even though I'll be recording it in, like, August or September. Oh goodness. I like to break the plants so I don't get stuck on them when I'm running from guards. But yeah, next objective is just to go down here and hack all these terminals until we find the correct one uh, with the, the vault key code on it. Based Bane. We get the wrong terminal and he erases people's student loans or their their home loans, their mortgages. Wow, second try. Okay. Eleven thirty eight. Okay. Let's hope uh, he doesn't come out on the balcony because I think homeboy here is Oh no, okay, I thought he was just sitting here watching this. Okay, there he is. And there's the third guy. And there's our insider. She's going to go down here. And there's two guards down there. We've already disabled the metal detectors. That's what the circuit boxes were for. But she's going to go down here. And she's going to tell the two guards uh, down there at the vault area. She's going to dismiss them somehow. She might say, like, the boss said you guys can go on break. Or you guys go get some lunch. I'll be here a while. Or something like that. Something to the effect of just get out of here. Yeah, see, do the rounds. And then once they leave, and this guy leaves, um, I will jump down. Uh, I'm at the security check-in by the gates. Come see me. Okay. The gates protect the vault area. Okay. You have the code, right? Then we're right here at the vault area. 
enter to the code. Thankfully, it's the old school keypads where you just press F and it types in three or four numbers at once rather than having to sit there and type in each number and make sure you do it in the right order and don't misclick. It's open. All right, it's open. inside. So in here, there are three roaming guards and three sieves. Okay, so the two sieves can either spawn, yeah, right there at the elevator, which is where they spawned this time. Uh, or they can spawn with the camera operator. And this, along with uh, Election Day Day 2, I think this may be the only heist where there's a civilian camera operator. Don't quote me on that, but uh, yeah, the guy, the guy in the main, the public bank area is a guard. That camera operator is a guard. But the vault area cams are on a separate circuit, and their camera operator is a civilian. Um, can I mark that guy? There we go. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta get back here and you gotta take care of the civilian camera operator. Okay, cameras are down, uh, which means I now just need to take out these guards one by one. If it were, uh, if I had even one, if I was doing this with another person, it's, it's a lot easier if you do it with another person, obviously, because uh, whereas right now I have to take them out one by one and maybe if I get caught while I'm answering a pager, I can, you know, clutch. But uh, if I was doing it with, you know, say one other person, then we could answer two of these pagers at once, and, you know, obviously it'd be a lot easier. Okay. Uh-oh. I shot, like, two panes of glass there. That's not good. Let's answer this pager before anybody comes around the corner and sees that. I'm going to bag his body. I don't think there's really any point because they're going to get freaked out by the broken glass anyway. But it couldn't hurt. There's one guard. And the other one is missing in action. Let's hope they at least get, you know, close before they spot this broken glass. Hopefully. I really don't like the fact that the other guard is missing right now. Okay, let's hope that if I get seen while answering this page, or it's one I'm pretty close to being done with it. All right, yeah, and then the the other two, the other spot for the sieves is right here. They'll just spawn in this little alcove. Um, so wherever this other guard is, it doesn't matter. And we now have full control of the vault area. If you uh. You, you, you can't do, obviously I can't do overdrill, uh, and I won't be able to get all the loot on this map, because I can't get overdrill, uh, because that can be done, that can only be done with four people, and, uh, okay, good, I think the key card can spawn at this desk, which is the worst of the two spawns, um, but we got one in here I saw, and then I guess the other one's in here, yep, okay, you got to, yeah, quickly, okay, oh god, Okay, there we go, got them both. But yeah, uh, overdrill requires four people, and it has to be loud, so I cannot do it solo stealth, but I will be getting all the cash. Uh, while that opens, I'm going to run over here and open this vent, which is how we secure the bag. You throw them into that vent, they get dumped out in the parking garage next door, and uh, you secure it from there. Ten bags of money, not bad, not bad. And I don't think I got all the instant cash, because I'm sure there's some instant cash uh, lying around the, the the front, or like the teller areas, but obviously I cannot get that. Um, I, mean, I suppose I could have gotten it when I was still in casing mode, but I didn't. Oh well. There are more than ten. I don't know what the game was saying when it said I had eight out of two bags. There are like 14 bags of money here. Yeah, with Wolf HUD, the, uh, the first number is how many bags are unbagged, and the second number is how many are, are bagged. So 0 to slash 14 means there is 0 money left that needs to be bagged, uh, and 14 that has already been bagged. 
But yeah, when I first came in here, it said I had uh, eight unbagged and two bagged, which is obviously not right because there were four bags besides that. This is why I recommend uh, using three of your pagers on the guards in here. Uh, because this becomes a lot harder and a lot slower if you are trying to do this uh, with a roaming guard still alive because you can't, you know, just daisy chain these from the vault door here all the way up these stairs and then from there into the vent because if you do, the guard will see them. So you got to do it one at a time, which takes a lot longer. Not that, you know, solo daisy chaining is an extremely fast ordeal, but at least it's not as slow as it could be. I always forget that this is like a, this is not like the way the default locomotive looks because it's a very minimalist skin. When I bought like a skin for a bunch of the weapons or every almost every weapon I now have a skin for, I didn't get another one for the locomotive because I already had one. But yeah, this is it's just gray with brown accents and then the red overkill bomb uh, on the stock. Apparently, I am not able to throw it in from that angle. I don't know if you physically can't or if I'm just terrible at aiming it, but. Uh, yeah, minimum bags is eight, and then there's six additional bags, plus the 70 bags of gold from, uh, Overdrill, which I can't get. But thankfully, over, uh, over Wolf HUD does not taunt me with that. It doesn't say, like, 70 slash zero gold. But, uh, for Overdrill, you gotta get, like, four people, and they gotta stand in, like, very specific spots in here. Uh, if you haven't done it before, I think once I secure this money, I'll show where the uh, whoops, where the four spots are. I don't have them memorized, but I think I know the general uh, general idea of where they are. And uh, you don't actually have to play as the original four. That is a misconception. You can play as whoever you want. I I usually play as Dallas anyway, but if you wanted to do it with you know. Sydney Songra's Joy in Dallas, you can, just as much as if you do it with uh, Hoxton Wolf Chains in Dallas. I don't know what that one question mark is. I don't... Because usually... or I know that sometimes that means it's one of the Enter the Gungeon trophies. And I could be wrong, but I don't think the Enter the Gungeon stuff spawns on this map. Okay, so for Overdrill... One person stands here and looks this way. I'm pretty sure another one stands here and looks this way. Uh, I think one stands here and looks this way. Or maybe it's this way. or I don't know. And then the fourth one stands here and looks this way. Uh, and then eventually uh, there's a red light. I don't know if it actually spawns until you've done it or not. But there's a red light that'll start going off here. Uh, and then you run back here. And there's a saw you can interact with on this this wall here. It's 2,000 seconds, which is about 33 minutes, uh, if memory serves. Uh, but once that's done, then you're in the vault, and you got to do a puzzle with interacting with tiles. If you interact with the wrong so one, then uh, you, got what you, came you for? get spotted. On, or you don't get spotted, sorry. You get gassed. And stealth mindset. Um, <laughs> Mamba mentality. Yeah, if you interact with the wrong one, then you get gassed, and you cannot get into the vault, which is a waste of quite a bit of time. Uh, but if you do it in the right order, then you do get into the over vault, which has 70 bags of gold. Uh, and you just got to bag them up and then take them. It's quite a long process securing them. O Overdrill also can only be done on Death Wish or above. I don't know if I mentioned that. It was the uh, the Payday 1 secret, which they just ported over to Payday 2. Payday 2 secret, though, you can do on Overkill or above. And we fully... Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. I cannot fail now. I cannot fail now. Goodness gracious. Come on, 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 come on. Okay. All is all is well, question mark. Watch it, guys. I've had a bug here before where the the insider just gets to this door and then she just walks through. She doesn't open it for us, she just walks through and then the heist is not completable. But anyway, yeah, we fully intend to do the Payday 2 Secret on Overkill difficulty and not not even a little bit higher um, solely because um, we don't want to deal with 
Um, you 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 go ammo list for so long because you got to fight those like ghost cloakers or whatever, and they don't drop ammo. Um, you know what? We'll tie one civ up just just because. Uh, but they don't drop ammo, so you got to bring all the ammo you're gonna need. Would we get a safe to spawn? Sometimes a safe spawns. Uh, I, I for some reason I thought that was money. Um, there can also be two uh, just beat cops here, but yeah, sometimes a safe can spawn here, and I don't know if that's the only spawn for it or not. Let me look around. I think it is, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, it looks like we did not get a safe. Darn. Which means I won't have to wait here for another three, four minutes. Down the stairs. If you're doing this loud um, on, I think, Overkill or above, maybe even very hard or above, uh, there's several of these doors that don't lead anywhere that bulldozers can come out of. Like, I think they can spawn there, maybe there, one of these doors. The yeah, and then the garbage truck shows up. And you just gotta get the, the loot into the back of the truck. Simple as that. Just gonna take a minute, because it's 14 bags. You can see there's only a few spots it can spawn, evidently. Or maybe that's just all the, uh... Because all the you, you pick up one bag and then the pile looks the exact same because they've all spawned on top of each other in the exact same location. See, I think there's a set, uh, set few spawns that the bags can actually drop into once they come out of this uh, vent here. Kind of amazing that none of the bags get stuck in the vents, huh? You throw them into that vent all the way in the vault area and they get down here just flawlessly. And that's six. That's six. Seven. That's seven. Eight. That's eight. Minimum loot secured. That's nine. So now these bags start actually being worth something instead of the... Because in the early heist, objective required loot is worth, like, its normal difficulty value. Which means the first eight of these bags are worth $7,500. Um, but... The last six are worth more than that. I don't remember what the death sentence value of money is, but it's more than $7,500. All right, there we go. That is First World Bank, death sentence one down, solo stealth uh, completed. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell icon. It really does help. And I will see you in the next one.